Addiction is addiction. It's how you treat it. So anything that controls you, you are addicted to the stuff. Absolutely. Let me ask you. Mm -hmm. So, um, how is it like? Don't your neighbors worry that you may have, I mean, you're camping mm -hmm. People criminals like this. Yeah. in your house. Yeah. Don't they call the police on yeah. you? What, yeah. what goes on? Yeah, my neighbors, they raise up the walls. I can say they, they raise up the walls the wall. and barbed wires. Yes, and, and the barbed wires. Yeah, yeah. That, is, that is their problem. But it calms them down when they see that I'm, I've been living. Because most of them thought, that, oh yeah, one day they are going to, they are going to do all kinds of bad things to him, and then he will, he will stop. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you that it wasn't easy from the beginning because, from the beginning, some of them will steal my wife's clothing, <laughs> my clothing, all my 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 jeans and my stuff I brought from overseas. They will steal them. They steal them. So most of them steal. Even my car parts. Somebody took the starter, which I will never forget. <laughs> and I was planning so well for these people to have a, oh my God. a, a good life because the man came with his wife. And uh, you know, we cannot take women in this uh, place because we only have this house. So we can only house men. Uh, in the future, we I'm are going I'm sorry I had to laugh about that, but yeah, it's it, was, it, was, it's it was serious. I mean, the same people you're trying to help. I remember one Absolutely. guy, one guy, one guy needed drugs so badly that he, he, he took my car battery away to the ghetto and sold it to a pusher. And, you know, later on I have to go back and pay for it. <laughs> for your own battery? For my own battery to collect it back. I'm, I'm told that when people want to get off the addiction, when it comes yeah. to drugs, mm. usually they take it in smaller doses till they, they knock it off. Is, yeah. that, is that the process that you have with no. them here? As for this place, this institution is different. We have it like, um, you come in, you're off. You That's can, it. You can't you can go for it. A smaller dose, or you are just off. Whether it's alcohol or drugs, you are off it. So you go through uh, what we call the, the Ghana. We use this terminology, uh, techie. Mm -hmm. That is a detoxification. Yeah. And uh, they will vomit a lot. So we have a, a vomit hole. There's a vomit hole. Yeah. We have a. We have created a hole over there, uh, where you know when you are feeling you know nauseous or something like you run. Put your face there, you vomit through, and then it carries it to the big gutter. So, some people will be doing that for like three, four, five times a day. Yeah. And uh, it takes like five days. They'll be sweating. Sometimes they can't sleep in the night. Mm -hmm. So, I have, uh, we have worship music, uh, mm -hmm. like gospel, being played in the night or the whole day mm -hmm. in their rooms and things like that. It's very difficult. It's like somebody, the be easiest way for me to explain is somebody who has um, fever, high fever. High fever. Yeah. They go through the cold and the, the hot, cold and you the know, hot. sweats. You can't you can eat, you don't feel well, you are irritated. Why are you doing this? I mean, mm. first of all, I mean, everybody wants to be surrounded by positive things. Mm. You know, you want mm. to raise your children in a positive Way. environment. Mm. And you decided to raise your child with Amongst armed us. Robbers. I feel very uncomfortable saying this, but I yeah. have to, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you decide to raise your child among around. armed robbers and yeah. drug addicts and, and things. Alcoholics. And alcoholics. Yeah. Do you think it's a positive vibe enough for mm. you and your family? We've become so used to it now. I tell you, if when they go out, I miss them. You miss them? I tell you. When they leave, when they go to church, all the 70, when they go, I'm bored. I like the screaming, oh stop, don't, don't put that thing there, come here, Bible studies. I, I'm, I, I'm so used to it now, so that if three, four hours goes by and I'm not there, I don't see them moving around and I'm, I'm thinking something is not something right. Something is not right somewhere. And so, so we are so used to them now. 70 kids, yeah. that's a lot. 71 <laughs> plus my own. Plus your own one. <laughs>joined us. This is Apostle mm. Kobe Washington of uh, the Chosen Generation yeah. Ministry of Jesus mm -hmm. and him and his wife have taken in 70 people yeah. who are, who are dealing with different forms of addiction and different yeah. forms of criminal backgrounds mm. and they are rehabilitating them for reasons, amazing reasons I can't really explain mm. but I think it's the most laudable thing that I yeah. ever, ever, ever yeah. heard about. Um, you're human. Yeah. Your wife is human. Yes. Doesn't this affect your marriage in any way? Doesn't it put a strain? Mm. Tell me, I mean, yeah, it, it? because you see, 
I'm, I'm, I say I'm very blessed because uh, I remember when I met my wife, we started doing it together. So I would take her to the ghettos and I'll tell her, you know, pray for this Rastafarian. You know, this is a, a dead sea addict, somebody who is on drugs, drug addict, and you know, all scars all over. And my wife with a shaking hand, who would just stretch for the hand and, and pray for such a person. And she loved the ministry, she loved me, and she loved God. So I knew that this is the one. This is what you've been chosen to, to do. do. And I know she's been chosen to be with me to run this. Because yes. another woman would have, you know, run out. And, you know, she has some complications from the beginning, trying to give birth. And God also told her that when, if, when she accepts, fully accept this ministry and she become a mother to all these people then he God will open her womb and that's what happened that's what happened that's how we got our first uh, baby that the week she just allowed herself because she was still struggling with she you know she was like let's go out there let's go and give them the food pray for them bless them uh, you know have service there but they're coming into the house to live with me that was where the struggle was but she was doing it and then when she opened up and then the breakthrough started coming in former model mm. former disc, disc jockey, jockey former world-class musician he's yeah. had it all yeah um you've had the life you've traveled mm. the world around yeah. you know i know a bit yeah. of your background yes. you've traveled a bit of, yeah. i mean you've had fun <laughs> yeah i did and now you've resorted yourself to this. Yeah. Did people take you serious at first when you told them that you were leaving no. all of that behind no. to, 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 to to be a pastor? Not yeah. to become a Christian, but a yeah. pastor, yeah. full-time yeah. pastor as well? Yeah. yeah, people didn't take me serious from the beginning. That's I lost a lot of friends. Um, my history over there in Sweden and other countries, people were like thinking that I was mad. Most, most people thought I was mad. No my sister thought I was mad. My senior brother thought I was Don't mad. Don't give your psychiatrist to take care of they you. They told me that, listen, go get help. A Nobody. Psychologist, maybe. And the good <laughs> thing is, my even my relatives in Ghana don't come to me because when they heard it, they said, wow, now he's living with criminals? Oh, <laughs> so nobody want to come here. And God has given me a new family. And this is my family. Well, that's how they're putting it. No, he's yeah. helping people out. He's living with criminals. No, he's living with criminals. What okay. is this guy? Something is wrong with Nothing him. Something is wrong with him. And you know, but you're absolutely sane. Um, right? I am. I am. <laughs> I am as sane as you can find it to be. It's just this passion, this thing that is driving. Something is in me that absolutely. is causing me to absolutely. do this thing. But do you He's ever joking. miss being you, this yeah. joking? You know, let, yeah. how did you yeah. do your hand yeah. back yeah. in the day? You know, you know, yeah. The scratching, the scratching. Of, of the vinyls and timetables. And, did you, yeah. do you ever miss I the think old I've you matured. sometimes? I think I've matured. I, 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 I love music. The music is still, the passion for the music is still there. This joking was, a, was also a passion. I loved doing it and then the money it was giving me was good. But now I just, what I, can, what I feel like I miss today is uh, producing sound. I love that doing That you can still do yeah, in that, a different that I can genre, still you can do. still do. But now, even the time to do it, I can't. How do you keep, keep a tap on the people to, yeah. to make sure that they are doing well? They are doing well. Mm. I mean, how, how sure are you that they don't even go out there to connive with people to yeah. come back and mm. rob you? How mm -hmm. sure are you that when they go up there, they don't go yeah. do drugs and come back? How do you keep them in check? To come back and rob me, I remember one guy, uh, we picked him up from the ghetto, and this guy said that, wow, this man, the way he looks thick, tall, he looks fresh. That time I've just arrived in Ghana. So I'm going to go to his house, I'm going to study his area, see where everything is, and I'll rob him. That was the intention he, he had. So later on, well, after he graduated, and then he confessed this to himself, that his intention was to actually to come, come and, and rob you. He didn't come for rehabilitation. <laughs> but now, he, 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 he's changed, and he thank God, that you know he didn't go that way. And now the guy is doing well. He sells at Obronuwa uh, in town, and they're checking up on people. They mo most of the time they call me. They call me. We don't have enough volunteers. I wish we had enough enough of uh, workers that can go around and see and them, monitor them. And monitor them. But we don't have that. That's why we are asking if you are in the house and you are not doing anything, you can also come and partner. And then. 
check on them and then make sure that they are feeling well and then you know so we, we do if people don't call me then I call and I say have you fallen you know and then you know they can have their answers to that amazing I mean this this is a worthy cause I am making a pledge here I'm going to dedicate part of my time every month Amen. to be here I can't be specific but mm. I can just guarantee mm. that sometime every month Thank you, I will be here to lend my support as well yeah. so I know there are thousands of you out there sometimes you want to do something special yeah. for somebody yeah. if we rehabilitate them well and mm. they mingle with us they merge with us in society yeah. I think we'll yeah. all be happy we'll all be happy we'll all be happy actually, so, actually the, the nation benefits a lot absolutely these absolutely. guys are very smart guys I'm telling you that the, sm the, the smartest people I've met in life are the people I live with we have mechanics here, we have architects, we have exp uh, bank managers, we have, I mean, name it, all of the agriculturists, all of them are here. Yeah. But they were not able to handle the money. So this place is a place like where we...